Hello, so in last video we saw how can we create a parameter file dynamically and for that we had created this task flow. Now as you can see in this task flow there are two data tasks defined. The very first data task is to create the parameter file itself and once the parameter file is available we are using that parameter file in this second data task. Okay, now this second data task is associated with this mapping task, right? Incremental load using mapping parameter. Now the same mapping task is associated with this mapping. Now the only thing which is parameterized in this mapping, so if I open my parameter panel, so that this one, so this is the only mapping parameter we have defined. Now where this mapping parameter is used, now that mapping parameter is used in my SQL override, right? So for our incremental load, we are using that mapping parameter and that mapping parameter value is coming from our parameter file. Now how this value is coming now that value if I open my if I go back to my parameter file so this is the map of uh, mapping which creates the actual parameter file and if I open this section so the value for that last execution date or value for my mapping parameter is coming from the database okay so that's the only thing which is dynamic even though we are creating the map parameter file itself dynamically the only thing which is currently coming from database or coming dynamically is the value of last execution date okay now in this video there are few more things we'll try to parameterize or try to make it dynamic the two things are the source connection so if I go to open my source in the same not this mapping if I open so in this mapping if I go to source so this is the hard coded this is the connection which is hard coded okay now if I open the target same connection is hard coded okay now instead of hard coding we'll parameterize we'll try to parameterize this connection so that those connection details can also come from database from database to parameter file and from parameter file to eventually get assigned those values will get assigned to this mapping okay so for that Let's create another two parameters, SRC, and since it's ODBC connection, ODBC, and since the source is employee stable, so EMP and uh, con, okay. Type we supposed to choose as connection type. Let's create another parameter. So instead of SRC, it is TGT, it's ODBC connection and instead of employee it has to be employee dim because we are loading data from employees to employees dim table type as i said it's connection perfect i will save it let me co close this panel so that we'll have some more space now i will go to the source and instead of hard coding the connection value i will use parameter i will save this guy now there is one tricky situation in target if I go to target right so it's a connection panel and in advanced panel right we had added if you remember we had added a update SQL in order to update this value last execution date value in DW jobs table so if I run this guy right there is this value we are trying to update at post SQL okay but moment I change this hard coded connection to parameterize I will lose that advance which is okay so if I save this guy oh it is still appearing so let me see it doesn't appear okay moment I change that hard coded connection to parameterize connection I will lose that advanced option which is okay only thing is after the mapping gets finished this target table will not get updated but that we can do I mean that we can still achieve by adding another pipeline below it so in that pipeline uh, we'll keep this DW jobs as a target table and we'll update that corresponding value for that particular that is fine I mean that that is we can manage eventually okay so for now we are good so what we did so far we changed the source connection from hard coded to parameterize so it is a parameter connection now this is a parameter and similar way we change the target connection 
from hard coded to parameterized okay now let me open corresponding mapping task so i guess this is the one let me edit that guy and here since we added those parameters at task level or mapping task level we'll have to adjust those define those values so far so good now since we added these two parameter extra parameter those parameters should appear now in my parameter file itself what i meant is so if i go let me open these values not here uh, here we define those source connections right so if i open my parameter file those values should appear here right and a value correct and similar way if i go back those values should appear like this okay so let me copy this keeping this as a backup okay let me close this guy and now let me open the f mapping which creates the parameter file and if i go to my expression transformation i will have to add those values here but because this is where we have defined that logic okay so what i will do let me copy this guy first another thing like what value we supposed to use here okay so for that let me do one thing let me get that value first the connection name connection so this is the connection okay so my parameter file should appear like this so let me go back to my mapping let me go to the expression and so this is fine and after my mapping declaration in next line it should appear so it should be something like this right and then i'll copy this guy no sorry perfect and i will copy the same guy instead i will use this now the thing is still this connection name itself is hard coded i am hard coding that in my mapping right in my variable port i am hard coding that name ideally it should not be like that in real world scenario this connection value should come from table so what i will do is the same table so i will use this same dw jobs table so currently we are using this last execution date so if i go back i am using this last su uh, successful execution date which is nothing but a column from this table i will add two more uh, columns in same table for source and target okay and uh, alter table add sales other than that i will also add a folder name so we'll come to that for now let's add that folder name and let me update those values so if i now i have added my connection name source connection name and target connection name in dw jobs table along with that i also have also added my folder name so this will come uh, this part will come uh, will look into look, look into it in some time but for now let's concentrate on this source and target connection values okay so as i said these i have added these two columns so let me go back to my mapping this logic is so far correct and since i have changed the definition of my source i will have to reimport that because those extra columns which we have added those will not be available currently oh they are available somehow it's because i tried that before so if i refresh would you like to synchronize all fields or let's say all fields let's say synchronize 
so you'll have to refresh it and otherwise it i had already imported that column before this uh, before i started the recording that's the reason why these columns are available ideal scenario these columns if we add the columns you'll have to re-import it or at least the refresh it okay so for now we are good those new columns are available here let me go to expression those columns will be available here as well those are there and let me go to this expression okay let me go to this expression and perfect and instead of these hard coded values I will get these values from uh, source connection it's in valid state and TGT connection right validate perfect mapping is good and if I go back to my task flow let me publish it once again for safer side and let me run it so but before that what I will do is I will let me truncate the target table let me also change the last successful execution date to 1900 perfect there are no records so, and now what, what all changes we did we added two parameters uh, source and for source and target connection we changed the parameter file creation mapping wherein uh, we added these two parameter values okay and these values we are again pulling from the source so that whatever parameter file which is getting created dynamically even though these values are coming from my database okay so if everything is good my parameter file should have these extra values for source and target connections these extra values source and target connection values will get will be read into my second associated mapping dependent mapping and if everything is good it will pull all 107 records and load those records into team table so let's find out let's run it subtask okay the parameter file got created this a second mapping dependent uh, data task or mapping task got triggered and ideally it should pull 107 records perfect let's go ahead and check the parameter file perfect these values came dynamically from the database okay this was old or older one okay, and let me go back and validate 107 records now only thing is if I check uh, the DW jobs right oh it still updated the value so that even though I cannot see that so let's go back so that is something surprising so if I go back to my target table even though I cannot see this advanced panel that update SQL is still running okay so because it did update the value right now what I will do is there are still if I go back to my mapping mapping for parameter file creation there are still these two values which are hard coded right folder name and the mapping name so these values we can still make dynamic so what I will do is let me get rid of this guy or let me add this okay this is fine and here the folder name will come right the folder name validate it is valid and then the next thing which I will have to parameterize is this guy right let me undo it um, okay 
then I will delete it and here the mapping name will go right so my mapping or job name perfect so in my parameter file now everything is parameterized other than this huge section and global so other than these rest all things are parameterized so let me validate once again I will click OK I will save it and let me go back to my mapping task what I will do is I will delete this okay uh, let's let's uh, truncate the target table and let's change this value so now if I execute if everything is correct Okay. it should trigger the second task and if my parameter file is correct it should fetch 107 records perfect it did let's validate the parameter file first so, okay so all these values came dynamically from DW jobs table also these values came dynamically and also the last successful execution date came dynamically now just to validate that uh, if I rerun it should not the 1900 value should not appear so let me do that and it should not insert any records because of the incremental load let me go back let me rerun it right view subtask now the dependent task or data task should not fetch any record right so this one is correct now this should not fetch any. Let's see that. Perfect. Yeah, now if I open, it got updated the latest records. And if I go back to DW jobs, that should have current process date. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. Basically, we saw in this video how can we parameterize source connection, target connection, mapping name, folder name even the date value right last execution date which that mapping parameter we are using for incremental load in SQL overhead of our source okay so basically all things we can parameterize okay so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video